good. Jim Joblon is the owner of Wildlife Rehabilitation of Hernando in Spring Hill, Florida, about 40 miles north of Tampa. It's a five-acre, largely self-funded refuge for over 100 injured, orphaned, and abandoned animals. Joblon, a 46-year-old Army veteran and single parent of a 13-year-old daughter, has been taking care of injured animals for years. In 2000, he created Wildlife Rehabilitation, mostly to care for animals native to Florida. But soon, borrowing a line from the movie A Field of Dreams, if you build it, they will come, they came. Lions, tigers, cougars, and everything in between. Unlike the small native species that could be released to the wild when they completed rehab, the big cats were here to stay and eat. The need is endless, but the funds are not. Joblon's food bill alone is astronomical. Each day, his four-legged friends go through 175 pounds of meat and 50 pounds of produce. And then there are the vet bills. Um, we're, we're pretty much out of funds. and. Um, I, I was trying to come up with something that would generate a little bit more response from people than a car wash or a, you know a bolathon. And uh, since I love my animals so much and I'm back here anyway, I figured, oh, I'll just stay back here for 30 days. Um, and one thing led to another, and here I am in a new campground. On New Year's Day 2011, Joblon moved into the enclosure that's home to Lions Ed and Leah. The three will be living together for a month in order to raise awareness and funds for the center. Leah is a good example of the work that Joblon does. The two-year-old was a so-called photo cub. Florida law allows lions like Leah to be held and photographed as long as they are less than 40 pounds. Leah's owner systematically starved her to keep her under the limit. Her severe malnutrition created serious problems. When Joblon got her, she was barely able to walk. She also needed expensive surgery to relieve pressure on the brain. Every day I spend a little more time a little later at night until um, eventually they'll lay down and I'll lay down with them and then I'll be able to sleep in with them every night. You have to get them accustomed to you before you can, uh, you know, enter their world on a full-time basis. Joblon is quick to point out that Ed and Leah are not tame, but they are young and they've grown up around him and he's careful. But he knows he won't be able to roughhouse with the pair when they're fully grown. For now, it's relatively safe and a dramatic way to draw attention to the problems associated with people buying and abandoning big cats. Joblon's stunt is drawing worldwide media attention and lots of support and contributions. He's using the internet to stream the event live 24-7. It's hard to tell sometimes what's more exhausting, playing with the cats or dealing with the non-stop online inquiries, but it's all for a good cause. Joblon and all his creatures, great and small, welcome and appreciate the support they're receiving. If you would like to learn more about wildlife rehabilitation of Fernando, visit their website at www.wrohflorida.com.